Thank you, Patrick, and the uh, entire Center for Discovery team. This is a very special group of people doing extraordinary work. As you can see, the center is led by a true visionary in Patrick, and he has created an innovated and integrated model of care that is a center of excellence. And that's further strengthened by Dr. Terry Hamlin and the amazing work that she is doing on the research programs, the Lab School Initiative, and ongoing education around autism and other complex issues. This is a beautiful event, and I'm honored to be here. But the real reward of this evening is how it will advance the care and research that the center is committed to. As you saw in the video, this organization and their work to support those with complex disabilities is very personal to me. The center has been a part of our family for about 20 years. As you heard, our eldest daughter, Ellen, became a resident when she was 14, and that began a journey that would be life-changing for her and our whole family. As I'm sure many in this room can appreciate, when you learn that your child or family member is diagnosed with a lifelong disability, it can be overwhelming to say the least. And long-term care options are often and sadly focused on the bare minimum of care. What makes the center so special is that they are committed to the full health and wellness of the person. They focus on a person's ability, not disability, and create an environment where they can thrive and live a purposeful life with dignity. And at the end of the day, that's what we all want, and of course, that's what we want for our children. I'm so pleased that many familiar faces are here today, including my family, my husband Jack, our daughter Jackie and son David. This has been a family commitment. We spend a lot of weekends at the center, a lot of family celebrations, a lot of miles walked on the farm, and as Jack can attest to, a lot of miles driven on Route 17. I also have my mother, Lucy, and her husband, Tom, here with us this evening, my brother, sister-in-laws, nieces and nephews. You have us all in one place tonight, which is not often an easy thing to do. I want to thank them all for being here. I also want to thank our co-chairs, sponsor, and gala committee for their tremendous support, my fellow Center for Discovery board members, and of course, my CIT team. Since being at the center, we've seen Ellen grow and thrive in ways that could not have been possible anywhere else. Each day, she's engaging in activities to build her skills, confidence, and social connections. She works on the farm to table program, prepping food and taking the stems off of greens. This is an integral part of the center's philosophy that food is medicine. And as you saw in the video, she also works in the fiber barn and on the yarn looms. She swims twice a week and takes the Energym fitness class at the center. She goes on trips to the local movie theater, and she even takes a movement class at Sullivan Community College. These are things that would not be possible for Ellen at home or in any other residential program. For this and so much more, I want to thank the center and their amazing staff. These are tireless, driven. <laughs> These are tireless, driven and incredibly caring people who treat our family members like their family members, and we're so grateful to them. Thank you. This is not something, though, that just affects my family, though. 
the rate of children diagnosed with complex developmental disabilities continues to be on the rise. The Center for Disease Control reports that 7% of kids aged 3 to 17 have been diagnosed with developmental disabilities, and that's nearly increased 1% year over year. And the rate of autism also continues to increase, with 1 in 59 children now being diagnosed. The more research you see, the more it becomes clear that these issues are affecting millions of families and a huge portion of the population. Earlier in our family's journey, I didn't talk about our situation very much. It wasn't the kind of thing that you talked about, and frankly, it was really difficult to speak about it. I learned that along the way, the more I shared my story, the more people felt comfortable sharing their story. The number of people diagnosed with conditions like cerebral palsy, autism, or other developmental disabilities are staggering. This is no longer a problem that happens at the distance. These are issues that our friends, families, and colleagues are dealing with every day. And these issues can bring a tremendous amount of emotional, physical, and financial stress to families and caretakers when the right support and care is not available. We can make a difference. While I'm incredibly honored to be recognized tonight, though, my main focus is on the future. I know there are many business leaders, experts, and advocates in the room tonight. We know how to identify a problem or need, create a plan to solve it, and get things done. I'm going to ask each of us to tap into those skills and put our energy around helping solve these issues around complex disabilities. Maybe it's a gesture of kindness to a friend or a colleague that is dealing with these issues. Maybe it's taking the information from tonight and driving awareness around this topic with your circle of influence. Maybe it's creating a culture in your workplace that takes the stigma out of disabilities. Maybe it's advocating with policymakers to continue to fund needed programs and research for those with special needs. Or maybe it's helping to support the research and care model that the center is building through the forthcoming Research Institute and the Children's Assessment Hospital. These innovative enterprises will transform the standard of care for complex conditions. And the work they are doing to revitalize the town of Hurleyville by bringing jobs and housing to the area is incredible. This is a model for the future in which both people and rural communities can thrive and they're just beginning. There are so many ways to make a difference, and I know we can, in fact, make the future different for the millions of people affected with these issues. Thank you for coming tonight and supporting me and the work that's being done by the center. Thank you. <laughs>